1400 kilogram wrecking ball hangs from an 18 meter long cable. The ball is pulled back until the cable makes an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical. By how much has the gravitational poten potential energy of the ball changed? So we have initially a wrecking ball right here and the mass of the wrecking ball is 1400 kilograms. Then they say that we pull the wrecking ball back over here. And we make a 30 degree angle with the vertical. By how much has the gravitational potential energy of the ball changed? So gravitational potential energy, remember, is U. And that is equal to mg delta y. So we have the mass and we have gravity, so we need to find the change in y. But how do we do that? Um, when I f first approached problems like this, I was like, uh, can I draw some triangle here and figure out these angles and whatever? But it's a little simpler than that. So we know that this rope is 18 meters. So let's say where the, the ball started out right here, let's say that's zero, x equals zero. And so now we wanna find, we'll say that this right here is y equals zero. So we wanna find where the ball is here. So, this distance now of where the ball is to where it started is our delta y and since the ball started at x equals zero whatever we get here will be the change for the the gravitational potential energy so now if you think about this where the ball is at right here and this um, line that we drew for the delta y we just formed a right triangle right here Well, that was a terrible, terrible triangle, but you get the idea. So let's redraw this over here. So we know that this is 18 meters. And we know this angle right here is 30 degrees. Draw the wrecking ball. Okay, so now let's figure out what this distance is right here. and whatever that is, minus it from 18, that's our delta y. So we want the adjacent angle in relationship to the angle. So we have cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is equal to h cosine of theta. So the adjacent is 18 times the cosine of 30 and 18 cosine 30 is is equal to 15.588 meters okay so now we'll take 18 and minus that answer and that gives us let me, so we know this right here is 18, and we just figured out that this right here is 15 and change. So now whatever the difference is from these is our delta y that we were looking for right here. So the delta y is equal to 2.412 meters. All right, now we have everything, and it's just plug and chug from this point. So U, or our gravitational potential energy, is equal to the mass, which we said was 1,400 kilograms. So 1,400 kgs times gravity, which is 9.8, and times that by our delta Y, which is 2.412 meters, and that gives us a gravitational potential energy change of 
0.64 joules. And then put that into um, good notation. So we have 3.334 times 10 to the 4 joules.